Hey, good morning, people. Happy Saturday morning. And I'll be with you shortly. Look at that view. Oh, I mean, is that something? Or what? <laughs> Wouldn't I love to be there? I'll be right with you. I'm going to pause for the cause for a moment here. Hold on. Yeah, there he is. There's Sir Prince. He's doing a little bit better this morning. Uh, he's still kind of uh, tender moving around in that. And I'm going to uh, get in touch with the, uh, the vet as soon as I'm finished over here. And uh, I don't know if she's going to be in today or not. But uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, Prince's uh, hips. As I said last night, maybe some of you got the message and maybe some of you didn't. If you could throw some karma this way for uh, my buddy down there, my little uh, four-legged fur baby. Uh, he's having troubles uh, getting up and walking around with his uh, hip dysplasia. It's been going on now for, uh, I don't know, quite some time. But the past week, it's been getting worse, and I've uh, just kind of kept it to myself. But last night, it wasn't good. He tried to get up because he wanted to go outside, you know, for his uh, daily walk and run, or walk, I should say. And... Uh, he couldn't get up. I had to literally try to help him to stand up. And it took two or three times and he finally uh, got his composure together and, and he was able to limp outside and do what he has to do, you know? So, uh, and again, he, you know, he's, he's 15 years old. I understand all this. And, uh, you know, when I rescue Shelties, uh, you know, that, that, that's part of it. Um, but they're like family to me, so uh, throw some karma this way and uh, say some little uh, doggy prayers, if you will, for Sir Prince. I would really appreciate it. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. Hold on. Smile. Well, hey, good morning. And here we are, back in the saddle. I had to take care of Sir Prince over there. Uh, excuse me for pausing a couple times here on my... Good morning, Saturday edition of my good morning videos. I'm only doing this because we're all quarantined, quarantined in the house. Uh, I enjoy doing this, but on Saturdays and Sundays, I try to back off, off of this a little bit. Unless, of course, we are unquarantined, unquarantined, and Sir Prince and myself were out doing a road trip. You know, then I, uh, usually do a little bit of a good morning video as we're cruising down the road. I have the cell phone set up, you know, on my dash and all this. and It's all good stuff, and, and it's all legal-like, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm not uh, being distracted by holding the cell phone or nothing. It's safe. It really is. Anyway, good morning, people. How are you today? I'm doing okay, really, you know. Let's put it down. As uh, Kid Rock once sang, great song. Him and uh, uh, who was the other guy? Uh, Uncle Cracker. <laughs> it's good to be me. <laughs> if you haven't heard it, or maybe if you haven't heard it for a while, just pull it up. It's a nice, light, airy song. But uh, get the YouTube video. Watch it. it I mean, it, those two together, I'll tell you what, they could put on one heck of a concert if they did the whole thing together all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but anyway, it's called It's Good to Be Me. Pull it up. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I got get done doing this, I think I'll post that video on uh, on my uh, YouTube page or, chan or on my uh, Facebook page. Excuse me. But anyway, let me put down some caffeine and I'll get going here, okay? Briefly, as I had mentioned earlier in the video, yeah, Sir Prince is having a little bit of a problem here. Um, God, I hate to see him going through this stuff. I really do. It just it just pulls at my heartstrings, and I start to get all choked up inside, and the eyes get watery. Uh, you know, but uh, that's part of it, you know. <clears throat> just got to deal with it. Do the best I can, or anybody can. 
You know, they're our family. They're our fur babies. And I love them dearly. I really do. But anyway, <coughs> wow. Um, yeah, he's having a tough time walking around. He's got that uh, hip dysplasia, which is common in Shelties. And uh, other dogs get it too, I understand that. But he's, uh, he's got hip dysplasia. Um, uh, he's 15 plus years old, you know. So uh, I do the best I can for him. I got him on over-the-counter medication and stuff. But uh, I'm going to get in touch with my uh, vet today. Hopefully she's going to be in. And my vet. I'm going to get in touch with her. Prince's vet, and hopefully she's going to be in so, uh, you know, she can uh, check him out and if we have to <clears throat> get him on some uh, prescribed medication, that's what we'll do. Yes, we will. All right, enough of that. And again, keep uh, Prince in, in your prayers and, and karma, all right, or your talk to your higher being, whoever he or she might be, throw some karma this way for Sir Prince, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. As, it, as I said, it's April the 25th, Saturday, 2020. Birthdays today. Al Pacino. Yeah. And actually, that's the only birthday I got today. Um, he's 80 years young. Uh, he's an actor, as we all know, or maybe some of us don't know, but uh, he put out some great movies. Uh, the Godfather. <laughs> And uh, the Irishman, and uh, well, Scarface. You know, th those are three heavy hitter movies. I just recently, within the last month or so, maybe two months, at the at the most, I seen uh, the Irishman. If you haven't seen it yet, it's still on uh, on uh, um, uh, Netflix. If you guys get Netflix, you might want to check that out. If you want to binge today because you're quarantined, I recommend watch The Irishman. You know, it's a great movie. Another movie I want to pull up is uh, uh, The Breakfast Club. Not by Al Pacino, but I was thinking about, uh, for whatever reason, that there was something on TV and, and one of the actors blurped on this commercial or whatever it was. And I said, damn, I haven't seen The Breakfast Club in like forever, <laughs> as they say, for years. So uh, maybe I'll pull that up later on today and I'll, I'll uh, binge on uh, The Breakfast Club. I enjoyed it. It was a great movie. And, by the way, hold on. If I can find it. Here we go. My buddy, uh, Dave Dreyer, all right, <laughs> and his uh, lovely lady, they sent me this uh, DVD, which you, you can't see. Uh, you know, it's um, it's not a a good printed copy to let people see all that well with the reflection that I have going on from the lights and that. But I watched this DVD that uh, my buddy DJ Dave Dreyer, him and him and myself, we worked together on on doing uh, parties and that. But uh, he sent me this 2004. Induction set, con, induction concerts. All right, and this is of the vocal groups that uh, were inducted into like the Hall of Fame kind of thing. Yeah, all uh, vocal groups of Hall of Fame Foundation. All right, I'm probably saying all of this wrong, but uh, if you guys get a chance, maybe you can get this on uh, Amazon or something. Do yourself a favor. If you're into this kind of music, all uh, uh, vocal groups, uh, a lot of doo-wop, you know. Uh, I'll just name a few of the groups that, that are in on this DVD. And it's it's a fairly long DVD. I bet you close to two hours maybe? Maybe more than that. But uh, very entertaining and uh, good, well, good quality. But uh, the OJs were in it, all right? Um, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, and these are just a few. Uh, the Platters, the Tokens, my son. If he was sitting here, he would have rushed over to the TV and cranked it up when the Tokens came on. And RJ, you know what song they played. 
the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> I thought of you instantly. That's a little hidden joke, ladies and gentlemen, between my son and myself. When we DJ together, he would always play the lion sleeps tonight. And that was just one of the songs that I, I just had my fill of it, you know. Uh, when you're an entertainer or a musician, you know, whatever the case may be, that there's certain things that you just have your fill of doing over and over and over and over again, you know. And, and that was one of the songs along with uh, Celebration, Old Time Rock and Roll. Uh, what else? Uh, I mean... There's a, a, a few, a we are family, you know. Sure, uh, at the moment and for the event, you know, people that want to hear these songs, they don't hear them as much as <coughs> us entertainers. When we got to play them night in and night out, it's like, they're great songs, don't get me wrong. But uh, now what was the other one? Uh, um, by the Righteous Brothers. Uh, Oh, shoot, I forget the name of it now, but uh, it was on Ghost. Um, refresh my memory, or it'll come to me later on. Um, but uh, that was one of the other songs that we would play over and over. And all these songs that I just mentioned, yes, that they got people up dancing and carrying on, but uh, um, it was just <laughs> enough, it's enough. But anyway, to get back to this uh, DVD... Uh, if you guys can get this on Amazon, check it out. I highly recommend it. Great musical entertainment. It really is. All right. That's enough of my uh, public service announcement, okay? <clears throat> As I said, uh, Al Pacino, he's 80 years old. Uh, his net worth is about $165 million. All right. And uh, he was born in East Harlem, New York. I never knew there was a East and a West Harlem. I just always thought it was just Harlem, New York, you know? But uh, guess what? That's going to be our three-day weather forecast. Imagine that. <laughs> We're going to go to East Harlem, New York, and give the three-day weather forecast. Then we'll come back over here to beautiful Tower City. In the meantime, let me put down some caffeine. trying to run through my mind. I can hear that song, but uh, can I remember the name of it at this point? No, I can't. Mm. Nice slow song. really was. Um, but anyway, uh, Saturday over there in East Harlem, New York, on April the 25th, 61 for a high today, 47 for the low, or it was low, and partly cloudy in East Harlem, New York today. Sunday in East Harlem, 50 degrees for a high, 42 for a low, and a 100% chance of rain. That's not the place you want to go tomorrow. Don't go to East Harlem, New York. <laughs> Especially in the rain. Don't do it. Save it for another day. Monday in East Harlem, 48 degrees for a high, 41 for a low, and 60% chance of rain. I wouldn't go to East Harlem on Monday either, you know. <laughs> okay, come on over here to Tower City. Beautiful Tower City, Pennsylvania. I mean, look at look at what I got to uh, deal with in, in beautiful Tower City. I mean, come on, look at that. Is that awesome or what? And I'm just BSing? Yes, I am. <laughs> and there's that stupid glow in that right back there. Yeah, <laughs> that's from my ceiling fan. I'll put my big head in the way and you won't see it. How's that? Okay. Uh, in Tower City, Pennsylvania, today, uh, April 25th, the high is going to be about 60 degrees. And it's fairly nice out there right now, but it's cloudy. You know, 42 was low, and it's going to be cloudy all day. So there you go. Um, Sunday, in Tower City, 48 for a high, 39 for a low, and 90% chance of rain. So don't even bother coming this way, you know. My buddy uh, Jim, I guess you're not doing any kind of landscaping or uh, cutting grass or anything on Sunday. Of course, then again, that's a, that's a day of rest. So you're probably rested on that day, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Monday in uh, beautiful Tower City, Pennsylvania, 49 for a high, 
34 for a low, and 30% chance of rain. So I don't even think I would deal with coming to Tower City on Monday. You know, save that for another day if you're around this area. Uh, today is National Telephone Day. Imagine that, you know. <laughs> There's our phones, all right. Boy, we've come a long way, baby. Yes, we have. We, there are over, and it's closer to 10 billion, but it's 9.8 billion cell phones are out there right now. And the generation right behind us, or this generation that's being born, or even one behind us, they probably don't know how to use a regular landline phone, or a lot of them don't. You know, especially the, the rotary dial ones. There's a couple of videos on YouTube, a comical, where uh, they get these teenagers together, or these young kids, and the adult says, uh, Go ahead, how do you use that phone? And they're, huh? huh? <laughs> and a lot of them don't know what a pay phone is, you know? <laughs> really? Uh, they missed all the good stuff. <laughs> okay, that's it, folks. <coughs> I just wanted to spend a little time with you guys this morning, you know. Um, let's see, what the... Damn. You guys will come up with the name of that song. I know. <laughs> and it's a very popular song. And it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember it. That's all. That's all. So anyway, wish me luck to uh, get in touch with uh, Prince's Vet. And, uh, you know... Hopefully we can uh, take away, alleviate some of the pain in his hips. And so he can get up and down without the old man going over there and lifting him. I mean, he gives me this look. I, and I think he knows what I'm doing, but he's giving me this look like, Old oh, man, what the hell do you think you're doing to me? You know. <laughs> but then he gets up and his little tail wags a little bit, kind of like, Thanks, Dad, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It comes with the territory, folks, you know. We love our fur babies. Yeah, we do. And for you poor people that never had a four-legged fur baby, you don't know what you're missing. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what I'd do without, uh, well, without my buddy here. Or, or at least a four-legged fur baby. I've had one for, I bet you, 98% of my life. Yeah. The first one I had... Uh, my parents said, well, I didn't have, but they had. It was, a, it was a, a German Shepherd, and his name was Dusty. And I could do no wrong to Dusty. This was when I was a little tight, like just crawling on the floor kind of thing. I'd go over, and, and this was a big old German Shepherd, from what I'm being told. Uh, I'd, you know, crawl over to Dusty, and, and you know what little kids do, uh, just smack them around a little bit, uh, and pull on their ears and, and crawl all over them. Well, apparently Dusty would just lay there and deal with it. But as soon as my dad would raise his voice at me for, you know, doing some little baby stupid thing, you know, Dusty would... <laughs> and my dad didn't do anything to me, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it, it was probably... There were just little irritating things. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about when you had your little child, you know, crawling on the floor or, or just starting to walk around and, and doing little things and maybe falling down and it's scaring you to death and you say, will you stop that? You know, just that little bit of raising your voice, apparently Dusty would look up at my dad and go, <laughs> Alright, folks. Let me put this down and huh. Nice talking to you guys today. I will uh, hopefully, maybe, talk with you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, come Monday. It'll be all right. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right, folks. Have a great day. To my uh, children out there, I love you guys. I really do. And my brothers and sister and... Uh, brother-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs>
Yes, I do. I'm very fond of all of you and all my friends out there. You know, I miss you guys. I hope all of you are well. You know, Lucille, hope you're doing okay. Uh, Lloyd, good morning to you. I know you're working today. And uh, when you blurped on there last night that, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just uh, getting ready. I'm dealing with having to go to work tomorrow. That ain't a way to deal with it, my friend. You know, just back off of that a little bit. My humble opinion, okay? I know, it's none of my business, but, uh, you know, I do worry about you. Yeah, I do. Okay, have a, and besides that, that's your livelihood, you know? You don't need to get pulled over for whatever. Have a great day today, folks. Love your family and your kids because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. All right? Tina, love you. Good morning to you. And, yeah, as soon as possible, I want to do a road trip. I really do. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later on. Uh, say hello to Noah for me, if you would. Okay, and Nicholas and Kaylee. How you doing? <laughs> How you dancing up a storm downstairs? You know, keep on moving. Keep on practicing. I've seen that picture of, I guess that's your boyfriend. He's a good-looking little guy there. Yeah. And the pictures, Kaylee, is that of you and him years ago, and then all of a sudden, current, he's like this? If that's the case, wow, he really shot up. Or shot up, you know, in height. He grew up. Yeah, he did. <laughs> good-looking man. And I hope he treats you well. Leo, how you doing, buddy? Brian, good morning to you. Raymond, Roy, Mary, Bucko, Hope, Lizzie, good morning to all you guys. Mike Paletti, Dan Paletti, good morning to you. DJ Dave Dreyer on the ones and twos. My brother, how you doing? And I can't wait. We got this big soiree coming up. We, <laughs> we got to get out of this quarantine to be able to do this thing, you know. But uh, hopefully we'll be out of it, you know. I was in touch with our clients last uh, yesterday afternoon, texting-wise. You've seen it. but Okay, that's it. All my friends down in uh, New Jersey and King Nummy Trail Campground, good morning to you guys. Hopefully I'll see all of you, you know, sometime this season, this summer. Nancy, good morning to you. Say hello to the girls for me. All right, on three. Cheers to Mastrovia and Luckheim. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day today. I love you guys. Keep on smiling now. Come on. Carol over there in Cleveland, Georgia. Good morning to you. How you doing? Here we go. Going out on three. Big smile. Come on. One, two. Smile now. Here it is.